your wings are pretty big compared to this, right? So if you just have this little dinky guy, it's gonna look like this. We actually used three tools in this impact class. The 3D printer was what they started with. So they used a program called SketchUp to design 3D work. Um, and then we printed their stands in the 3D printer. That's very exciting for them. I think this, the, the impact I'm doing is really educational and it'll help me in the future for when I get to more of the harder tasks since I'm kind of young right now. We have learned about a 3D laser cutter, which is what we use to cut our wood. Uh, we used a 3D printer to print our stands to actually hold the doll or glider. We've been using laptops, we've been using SketchUp and Inkscape. <laughs> Probably when we were... It's really cool programming computers to make a 3D stand in a wood plane made out of um, wood. It's kind of cool to actually see it cut. It actually cuts in about 20 seconds, which is kind of fun to see. Hit print and then... Um... Well, I think allowing them to see this technology as second, third, fourth, fifth lets them expand what they believe is possible, right? So I don't know that any of them would have thought about designing things on a computer before they walked into this class. And within minutes, they were right, you know, <laughs> knee deep in it, designing and creating things. And they aren't nervous. You know, they don't go into it thinking this is too hard for me. They attack it. And I think that watching them see that they can be successful and that they may be little and young, but the things that they can accomplish just empower them to, you know, try bigger, better things. Well, I'm interested in this because I really like computers and I've always been good with computers and I thought that it would just be kind of a creative type of impact where you could make your own thing and it was, it was really fun. In the first day I thought it was going to be hard, but when you want it, you just get the hang of it and you can like know how to program it. It's kind of complicated once you start, but you, you get used to it. It's not that hard once you're towards the end. If you want to be some kind of computer science uh, kind of job, well, this will help you like in the future. You can just take all the advice that you got and use it in the future. But if we have a fourth grader thinking about what types of schools they might want to go to when they get older and the kinds of things that they want to do, I think what was really neat about the Fab Lab in this class as a whole is that they got the opportunity to think about things that maybe they didn't know existed. So letting a you know fourth grader use a 3D printer, all of a sudden they're thinking of all these things that they could 3D print. And that's not something that they're going to read out of a book maybe or talk about in math class and they're doing equations. So it just kind of takes a different look at a skill set that maybe they weren't exposed to before and allows them to see what's really possible.